remind me to check my email for RSVPs to the Christmas Eve open house. Oh, and did you tell Caleb I need him to get all of the outside lights out of the shed? He already did, and he put them up. Without me? Great. Cowboy decorating. Can't wait to see that. So who's coming to this open house thing? Some of Amy's clients and a whole bunch of potential new customers. There's gonna be sleigh rides, hot apple cider in the barn, ice skating. You are so transparent. Excuse me? Oh, come on. Christmas is less than a week away. Peter's in Estevan with a sick dad. And you, you're keeping crazy busy trying to escape reality. End of story. That is not it at all, okay? I made the open house plans before the whole Peter situation. Mallory, can you be careful? You're carrying precious cargo. Whatever. When do your parents get back from Halifax again? The day before Christmas Eve, right after my dad's last concert, but hopefully they can get a flight in earlier. Yeah, hopefully. Nice. So that's the thanks I get for being your indentured servant. Cry me a river, Mallory. You've been a pampered house guest all week. Oh. So? So? So what did you get me for Christmas? Like I tell you. Come on, just give me a hint. No way. What'd you get me? <sighs> maybe I didn't get you anything. Well, maybe I didn't get you anything either. You are so... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Please, Ty, I just tried to trade with you. Do you think you could have got something a little smaller? Something that would maybe fit through the front door? What are you talking about? She's perfect. Yeah. Took you a sweet time getting it. Phone's been ringing. Well, Scott's forwarded his vet calls to me. He's away on holidays. Yeah, well, I let her go to message. All right, well, I better check it out. I could use your help here. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. You can do it. <sighs> you see this one? It was my great-grandmother's. And every year they go on the tree in the exact same order and in the exact same place. Same place, same order? It's a Bartlett tradition. Sounds fun. Come on, Amy, lift your end. Don't let it drag. Looks a little small, don't you think? It's got to touch the ceiling, as long as it's going to touch the ceiling. I personally guarantee it'll touch the ceiling. If we can get it through the door. I can't get it through the door. Stop. No, you have to pull it in the other way. Let me try. OK. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> yeah. OK, other way. OK, a little to the left. Yeah? Mm, no, no, How, back into the corner. Back into the corner, I think. There you go. Um, can we spin it around? I wouldn't mind seeing what the other side is like. Maybe it's, maybe it's fuller on the other side. No? Hello? Peter, hey! One sec. Hey, how are things? No. Well, how's your dad? Really? Well, when are you coming home? No. I miss you. No! Aww, it's so nice! Our first tree together. Our first Christmas. So, do you know what you're getting me? Something special to remember this Christmas would be nice. Ash, I really don't want anything. We both know we don't have a lot of money. I mean, heck, we don't have any money. Well, I've got a way to buy a few little things. No, you're not using your mom's credit card. It's just not happening. Why not? She won't even notice, and she's in Florida. Yeah, well, that's not the point. It's just not right. So, let's make a pact. Since neither of us can afford to get each other something, let's do without gifts this year. I guess. OK. You're all I want for Christmas. <laughs> to delete this message, press. I'm calling from Pike River. There's this mountain pass like I cut off by a snow slide, and some horses got trapped you by You do not believe Lou in this tree. They're, they're starving to death. Someone's got to get them out of there before it's too late. They're north of Pike River, in Claw Valley, just below the falls. I thought someone like a vet should know. I hope you get this message. I'm gonna call Scott. No! You can't go anywhere right now. I, look, me and you were gonna build Grandma Lindy's gingerbread house. I already baked the pieces, and Ty promised to clear the pond for the skating rink. Which reminds me, Grandpa, 
I will decorate the barn and the cabins at the dude. I, I know, I know. Thank you. Come, do you really think I can pull off an open house all on my own? Well, you thought it up all on your own. We all agreed we were going to do a traditional family Christmas this year. OK, we still can. I'll help you build the gingerbread house when I get back. Mallory, you can't just throw them on, OK? It's not where that one goes. Please. Lou. I don't know how you can be thinking about decorations in open houses when there's horses out there starving to death. I need you to help me here. Grandpa. Look, Pike River is way off the beaten track. You might have trouble with the roads. Okay, okay, there's no room for discussion here. I just talked to Scott and he needs me to check it out. So I'm going. I'm gonna check the avalanche reports. No warnings right now, so conditions are stable in that area. Good, thanks. Make sure that you come back in daylight. Don't go driving those icy back roads in the dark. Jack, I'll try. You'll do more than try. Watch out for deer. Grandpa, don't worry, OK? We'll be fine. See ya. See you, Lou. We'll be back, OK? I promise. See ya. That's Claw Valley over there. It's as far as we can go in the truck. All right. Let's do it. All right. You just... Mm-hmm. 
girl. This mare's pregnant. Ty, these aren't wild horses. These are just quarter horses. What are they doing here? Who knows? Good girl. Hey, girl. They all have frostbite. Where are you going? To get hay and blankets. Okay, that's good, Mallory. Just slice the nuts a little bit finer, okay? Did you get them? Yes, I got them. Have you heard anything from Amy and Ty yet? Amy called when they were on the road, and she said they would call back when they got into cell range. You know, I still can't believe you let them go. I needed all hands on deck, and now I'm totally stressing, and I think I'm breaking out. Peter called. It's not looking good for a happy Christmas homecoming, hence the mood. You should just get on the plane and go to Azkaban. Cancel the stupid open house. I can't. How unprofessional would that be? Hey, Lou, why do you set yourself up like this? Do you have to be on all the time? You need a dimmer switch like the ones you sent me into town for, just like the ones I went to seven different hardware stores to find. Grandpa, Hudson doesn't have seven different hardware stores. Packed with crazy Christmas shoppers. OK, they're important. They make the lights look pretty. Oh, dimmer switch. You got to love the Christmas beard just oozing out of everyone's pores. Ready? Take a look around. Okay. Baby. It's not good. Nothing but dead ends, waterfall, cliff. There's got to be some way out. This isn't going to work. The snow's too deep. They're going to break their legs. It's all right, buddy. We'll find a way to get you out of here, OK? Amy, look. They're trapped. This is an impossible situation. We got to try. OK, well, they have enough food for tonight. We'll come back tomorrow, and we'll figure it out from there. We should get going. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hungry? Starving. Here, let me get that for you. What can 
I get for you? Uh, some menus, please. Thanks. Thank you. All right, you call him. I'm not calling him. It was your idea. You call him. Was? Great. There's no reception. There's people over there. It's not working. Oh. Do you have a phone I could use? Long distance? Yeah. You can pay me ahead, $10. Listen, I tried to get a hold of Amy. Does anybody know where she is? Don't ask. Could be Lisa. Hello? <sighs> Amy. Where are you? Grandpa, would you just listen? I told Ty to head back early. We found the horses. Okay, we probably could have got them out too, but... There was another avalanche. Another avalanche? What? Where are they? Well, Pike River. Amy, you tell Ty that he can go back tomorrow if he has to, but I want you home, and I want you home now. No, we're not coming home tonight, okay? It's too late. Just stay here, and tomorrow we'll go back and feed the horses and try and figure out a plan. They're in really bad shape, Grandpa, okay? Maybe we can get some of the townspeople to help us out. Great. Horsey people. Where do you plan on staying for the night? What? Staying? Together? No, give me the phone, Jack. Just let me handle this. Like you've done such a good job so far. Put Ty on the phone. For you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. OK. Your dad's in a good mood. Uh, excuse me. Is there a place in town we can stay? No. Uh, there was a hotel that we passed on the way in. It's close to the season. Uh, are you sure there's not somewhere? I just really don't want to spend the night in our truck. <laughs> Sam, where have you been all day? I could have used your help here. What about the house? You could stay there. They can't stay in their truck. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Joanna Hawk. I'm Amy Fleming. I'm Ty Borden. That'll get your fire started. There's more wood outside. I'd like the rent in advance. Make it 50 a night. 15? 50. 50. And about those horses out in Claw Valley? Just stay away from there. That'd be my advice. It's dangerous. Not that way are terrible. No, they aren't. I checked the reports. Oh, on what? Your old ham radio? Why don't you try the internet, Jack? They got snow out there the day before yesterday. It's gorgeous. Best tree ever. Uh, no, 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 no. It's perfect. Just the way it is. Of course it is. Finally. Hi, Dad. How are you guys? Can't you catch a flight home earlier? Crying out loud, will you give it a rest? No. no, because I still don't get it. Why would you even let them go? They got snow out there day before yesterday. Fresh snow on top of packed snow, deadly combination. Those two could get buried in another avalanche. The weather's going to be fine tomorrow. I'll drive out there and get them packing. Good idea. Great, I'm going. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to be cooped up in a truck with you for three hours. Look, 
I don't care who goes, but I am disowning all of you if you are not back ASAP. There's um, a massive snowstorm in Halifax, so my mom and dad will be home for like days. So much for the supply of wood that Joanna said was outside. I just chopped up an entire tree. Come look at this. That kid Sam, it's Joanna's son. They must have lived here. This is grade four, probably what, five years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Make you some tea, it'll warm you up. All right. We're not. Oh, forget it. <laughs> I got a better idea. Oh. Ah. oh, girl. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Comfy. Mm -hmm. What was that? It's the damper. Oh, oh man. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, <coughs> God. <coughs> Dad rigged the place! Ugh. What are you looking at? Nothing. Is it me or is it really cold in here? Uh, now that you mention it, I'll check the heater. Stone cold. Mallory. Mallory, you okay? Are you okay? I don't mean to be such a baby. I've just never been alone on Christmas before. Not exactly alone. You're a pretty important part of this family, don't you think? You're not alone, Mallory. Is there anything we can do to help? There's nothing anyone can do. Well, there is one thing. If I had some of my own Christmas stuff, make me feel a little better. Sure. No problem. Thanks. OK. What are you doing here? I'm going with you. No, oh, no, you are not. I told you last night. Just get a move on, OK? I got the truck warming up for your old bones. Well, we're not taking your truck. Well, we're not taking that heap of yours. Hi. Wolves? Yeah, it looks like. friend over there, she's definitely pregnant. She can't pull here. Not with wolves and coyotes and this. We should tell her that. Start digging and like make a trench. A trench? Yeah. It doesn't have to be here, it's just wide enough to get the horses through. That would take us forever. We could get help. Hey! What are you doing here? Just get the hell out of here! Those horses are gonna die! We're just trying to get them out! Well, don't! Just get out of here! This is private property! Are you deaf? I said no! Okay!
promise to drive me to my house to pick up my stuff. I will, I will, okay? Just let me get a couple more things done on my to-do list. I've been asking you all morning. Hello? Sorry to just drop in. Yeah, uh, heater's busted in the trailer. So is it okay if we stay here till the guy comes to fix it? Uh, well, I kind he of... He said he's gonna do it today. Okay. Ooh, are you making fruitcake? Hey, Caleb, I need a favor. Can you drive me to my house to pick up my stuff? I've been asking Lou, and she says she will, but she never does. Sure, no worries. Kind of stuff. Hey. I saw you down with the horses. I got a call about them. That was me. I was out there right after the slide, and I knew they needed help, and no one would listen to me. And then I remembered this vet guy from Hudson. Scott Cardinal? Yeah, I worked for him. So, what about the horses? Can you help them? We'd like to. Except for some old guy just aimed his rifle at us, told us to get off the property, so. Oh, that'd be my grandfather. Your grandfather? He owns the land. So, can't you just talk to him, tell him what we're trying to do, it, just make him understand? I can't. Why? My mom and me, we don't talk to him. Haven't for years. No one talks to Wilver and... I guess I wasted your time calling you guys. Sorry. I don't know why you didn't turn off back there. Because there's a better road just west of here. I'm telling you, I'm looking at the map. Is there any more coffee? No, I am only made enough for me, and you had the best of that. Well, why don't you just start by holding the map the right way around? It is, OK? Because right that's going to help. Yeah. You watch, 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 watch! Jeez! Watch, 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 watch! Driving down the middle of the road. Hey! Hey! Will Vernon? It's been years, Jack Bartlett. Hey? No! No! Yes or no? Drag it on up, Tim. Do you want me to do this? You know what? Just put the thing on there. All right, you're good to go. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Go! Easy on that bumper. Oh, oh. Yeah. There you go, stay on it. Good will, good will. Should have done it myself. Yeah, we're lucky we had my truck. The guy's lucky we're helping him at all, Just I'm telling you. Just keep your shirt on. He's an old friend of mine. We used to rodeo together. Yeah, who drives down the middle of the road on a curve. You're good to go, Will. Yeah, it's good to see you. What, do you live around here? Nice friend. Shut up. Took my tow hook. You're welcome! this? A mini beer mug. My dad got it at this Oktoberfest thing he was singing at. But this is my mom's favorite. You just squeeze it like this. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. That's awesome. Thanks, Lou. I feel so much better now that my stuff is here. Uh, Lou, is it OK if we stay here tonight? Yeah, the uh, heater guy had to send for a part. Can't get it till tomorrow. I guess that's a yes. That's great. Mm. <laughs> Hi there. 
I'm uh, Jack Bartlett. Hi, I'm uh, Tim Fleming. Joanna. Nice to meet you, Joanna. Uh, maybe you can help us. We're... We're, yeah, we're looking for my daughter, Amy Fleming. And she's got a friend, Ty. Do you know where we can find him? Dad? What the heck is going on here? Oh. What were you thinking? Excuse me? What are you doing here? We're bringing you home. No, Grandpa, those horses are still trapped. Then I... he can stay and deal with it. Jack, hold on a second. We're doing this together. Amy is helping me out there. Can we at least show you what we're dealing with? So what we thought we'd do is we'd dig a trench right through it. Right through it? A trench? Well, you got a month or two of free time? Doesn't really matter. We don't need to talk about it because it's not doable. Trench, huh? Crazy. Might be the only way to get these guys out of here. Jack, you'd need a whole crew, and I'm talking about a big crew. Then we need to get the town on our side. The only problem is the guy who owns this land basically pointed a rifle at us. Pointed a rifle? Who pointed a rifle at you? Sam's grandfather. Who's Sam? Sam Hawk. His mom owns the bar and grill in town. Do I have a name? I'd like to have a word with him. Uh, uh, Will... Vernon. Will Vernon. Forget it. I ain't got no money for you. The toe was free. Well, can you put that thing down? Okay, what do you want? Well, you gotta admit, it's a small world, huh? I remember that rodeo. I was there. You beat me by a point. Pretty wild time on that circuit. Remember that pickup band we started? Graham Tuttle and I couldn't strum a guitar worth a damn, but you played a pretty mean fiddle. What do you want? Well, I gotta admit, Will, I'm not too happy with you pointing that rifle of yours at my granddaughter and her friend. At your granddaughter? It's Amy. She's a trying to help those horses. Well, she's trespassing. Well. Just give her a break. I figure you owe me. We could have left you stuck out there in that ditch. They're my horses. I'll do with my horses what I please. Your horses? That's right. So just get back in your pickup truck and go back where you come from. And don't go rattling on about any old days. Old days are dead and gone. Yeah. Well, I could care less whose horses they are. They're in trouble and I'm going to do something about it. What do you mean you've got a job to do out there? No. So what, I'm on my own with this open house? To simmer down. OK, well, then what about Christmas? Are we still going to have a family Christmas together, or? Of course we'll have our family Christmas. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, OK. Goodbye. We're not coming back. Not today, maybe not even tomorrow. Well, that's it. I'll just cancel my open house. I'll just send out a mass email, and that'll be that. I have no choice. It's just as well, Lou. You know, you're right, Mallory. It probably is just as well, because look at this place. That is the ugliest Christmas tree I have ever seen, bar none. The tree is ugly because of my decorations? Oh, is that it? I'm sorry, Lou. I ruined your perfect tree. I'm sorry your ordered little world was rocked. How do you think I feel being stuck in this house with you and everyone else being gone? Thank God for Caleb and Ashley. At least they have a sense of humor. You're just the most horrible non-Christmas person I've ever known. OK, that is not true. I love Christmas. No, you don't. All Christmas means to you is being a control freak and having everything perfect. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Lou. I didn't know that Great Aunt Ruby's hummingbird, made with real authentic parrot feathers, is supposed to go next to Grandma Lindy's silver freaking star. I don't have to listen to this. You killed Frosty? Joanna, can we talk? I talked to Will Vernon. It's your dad, right? He says those horses that are trapped out there are his. How would I know? Small place, but you have some idea. He's a guide. Not so much anymore, I guess, but I know we took a bunch of hunters out there in the fall. Those horses have probably been out there ever since. They obviously decided to let them fend for themselves and save on the cost of feed. Typical. But I want you to know that I knew you dad. A lot of years ago, we, we rodeoed together. We were pretty good friends. Let me tell you about the Will Vernon that I remember. He was a great guy. Generous guy. He had the biggest, craziest sense of humor of anyone I ever met. Sorry, I got customers. Thanks for the use of the phone. I remember the guy you remember. I do. He died five years ago. You could knock. What are you doing? I'm moving back to my own house. I will not live under the same roof as a frosty murderer. OK, Mallory, you know what? Whether you or I like it or not, you are in my care until your parents get back. You gonna kill him too? You're staying. End of story. Fine, then just don't talk to me. Fine. I never thought I'd live to see the day where I didn't have to listen to you blather on. Okay, talk later. Uh, Lou, we couldn't get our heater fixed. I couldn't get the part, it being Christmas and all. Thanks for letting us stay the night. take these bales down. Thank you. Hey guys, what do we got for you, huh? Can you grab the other bale? Um, sure. What's going on here? I told you to get out of here! Well, what do you think oh, you're well, doing? I'm just gonna shoot these horses and put them out of their misery. No, you, you are not. Get out of my way! Grandpa, no! Sam! Guys, 
guys, watch out! Get off to the side! Sam, you shouldn't have been out there in the first place. There's been two slides in two days. What are you thinking? The horses, they needed to be. The, the horses? You put my son at risk for some senseless mission? It's not senseless. Look, Joanna, it's probably your father's gunshot that triggered the damn avalanche. Gunshot? He was bent on shooting those horses. I told you not to go out there, and you're never going out there again. You hear me? I already lost your father to that damn valley. I'm not going to lose you, too. What's your mom mean about losing your dad? I was nine. It was Christmas Eve. My dad and three of his buddies went out swimming with them together. Out along the riverbed to Clark Valley. And there was an avalanche. They were all killed. My dad and me, we were supposed to go get a Christmas tree out of the bush. He said he'd be right back. I'm so sorry. I never would have asked for your help if I hadn't known. I want to help. I'm going to help. I'm glad you came. Even if there's nothing we can do. my son. Haven't you heard him enough? Say something! I don't want you to go anywhere near him again, ever! Do you hear what I'm saying to you? What are we doing? 
This is crazy. We're not crazy. Yeah? We're going to do this. Really? Well, we're going to need some help, because otherwise we're going to be here till the spring. We should go home. This is crazy. We should just forget about it. Come on, Amy. This doesn't sound like you. It's two days till Christmas. Lou is at home alone, and this just isn't fair. I think we need to try. Tim's right. We got to get some help. Okay, we've got something to say. I hope you'll hear us out. As you know, there's some horses stuck up there in Claw Valley. And they're in really rough shape. So we have a plan. We're going to dig a trench right through the slide, and we're going to get them out. A trench? You're kidding, right? We're not kidding. We need help. We need people to dig. I understand there's a lot of bad memories up there, but maybe this is a way to do something positive. Jesus H. Murphy, you people are beyond stupid. Hey, you got a problem? Yeah, I have a problem. Do you know how dangerous it is up there? You start disturbing snow and you're just asking for trouble. Four men died in Claw Valley five years ago. Friends. Neighbors. We don't need any more tragedies. I understand what your concern is, and, and I know it's dangerous. But there was, there was 12 horses there, and now there's nine. One was killed by wolves just the other night. Yeah. Well, those are Will Vernon's horses. So? What does it matter whose horses they are? There's a pregnant mare out there, and she's probably going to lose her foal if we don't do something. All we're asking for is, is your help. If you have a change of heart, you know where we'll be. He's worse. Peter's dad. So we're speaking? Yes. Just get on a plane and go. I can't, Mallory. You know I can't. Well, Caleb and I can stay here with Mallory. Really? Are you sure? Go. Why should all of us be miserable? Hey, it's Christmas. Hi. Anybody around? Joanna. What can I get for you? Oh, some coffees for the troops. Maybe uh, muffins. Look, I can understand you being mad at us for maybe using your place as a bit of a soapbox, but don't turn away our business. Come on. How many coffees? Four. And a hot chocolate. It's pretty quiet in here. Well, you guys have a way of clearing people out. It's just, we don't know when to quit. It's a family problem. One of many. What color are your eyes? You have beautiful eyes. Like sort of green or sort of blue. <laughs> How many coffees was it? Uh, two more. And a hot chocolate. So, 
You haven't talked to your father for five years since the accident? Uh, Sam told us. Well, I, I got you beat. My father-in-law, Jack, or my, my ex-father-in-law, we didn't talk for 10 years. It took us a long time to work things out. Sounds like one big happy family. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. We try. Yeah, well, I tried to. With my dad, I did. In the beginning, I did. But he closed the door on me, and he never opened it again. And I never blamed him. What could he have done? The men, the, my husband, they, they were gone, so... Why would I blame him? Blame him for what? You can just pay me later. Oh. Took you low enough. Oh, you try walking up the side of an avalanche with four hot coffees, muffins, and a hot chocolate. Here you go, buddy. Thanks. Oh. Dad, look how much we've done. I hate to say your trench looks like a gopher hole in the back 40, honey. Oh, dear. Oh, come on. You know it does, Jack. The horses will never make it up without him. Should we get some wood cut in town? Absolutely. OK, some plywood, maybe cut to uh, six feet, two by four, some cleats. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Amy! He's barely breathing. Jack. Are you happy now? Maybe they'll all die. Is that what you want? That is the cutest little tree I've ever seen. Thank you. Where should we put it? Uh, how about there? Sure. I'm sorry I ran off. It's OK. I was embarrassed in front of all those people. They all hate my grandfather. For what? Why? this place since my dad died my mom she hates Christmas we don't even have a tree we used to it always stood right there
I do. You may not think so, but... Sometime I'll tell you my story. Joanna, come on, I know you're not closed. It's cold out here. I'm hungry. Hi. What do you need? Well, actually, I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, you said that you were hungry. Here, let, let, let me help you. No, it's fine. Let me help you. I'll take it. Uh, I got... Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be careful. No, it's be fine. Careful. No, I. I oh. Be careful. There's glass. Be careful. Fine. Be... I've got it. Well, you're cut. Here. I'm an idiot. No, you're just. You're just bleeding. No, I got it. It's fine. I don't know what's wrong with me. Christmas Eve tomorrow, and I just want to go to sleep and wake up to find that it's all over. You know, that's understandable. I mean, poor Sam, he's the one who suffers. No family, no Christmas. Well, you can change that. I told you I tried. I did. Do you think I like this situation? It's a mess. It's a total mess. Joanna. <clears throat> I mean, you've got your whole life ahead of you. You just have to decide to move forward. Well, it's easy to say. Remember that 10 years I told you about? Well, that was 10 years that I did not spend with my daughters, that I was not a part of their life. That was 10 years that I will never get back. So I can tell you that there is a big price to pay for isolating yourself. So I'd really like you to come out. We could use all the help we can get. I can't. I haven't been up there since. Maybe it'll help. I should go. No, it's fine. Leave it. Really. Just come. We've hauled out rocks. Now we've got a tree trunk. People are getting tired. Oh, we got a problem. Oh, cheer up, buddy. I think your problem's solved. Sorry, I know you said not to, but... I knew you were here all along. What else was the hot chocolate for? Hi.
Hi. Hey there. Um, I know it's Christmas Eve, but is there any chance that you guys are still open? Yeah, that's great. Because uh, I'd like to buy a charm. Uh, the star, it's the one from your newspaper ad. And how much is that? It's that much, huh? OK, well, here's the deal. Do you guys do buy and sell? Yeah, that, that's great. Thank you very much. I'm going to be right over. Thank you. Bye. Got it. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> you know, speaking of crazy, Lou's at home and it's Christmas Eve. We're not even there. Won't you let an old friend in, Will? I saw you up there today. Good for you. Well, it's my land. Why wouldn't I be up there? Huh? You know, I should have just thrown all you idiots off of there. I mean, who do you think you are? Coming in there, making a mess of everything with your machines and... For crying out, you know what? I am wasting my time here. Did I ask you over here? No. And make sure you pull that outside door shut when you leave. What the hell is wrong with you, huh? Wasting your life away, holed up like a hermit. What happened? I remember you. You were the guy that always got people together. It wasn't a party till Will Vernon showed up. That's right. But I never started till Will showed up. And look where that got me. In the end, you know what goes around comes around. You've heard that? Well, it sure came and bit me pretty good in the end, didn't it? I know all about your son-in-law. The accident, I know all about you it. You don't know anything. You don't know me. You come in here, you don't know me. We rodeoed together, we partied together, we was half in the bag. That's another life. Another life. It's over. You're right. I don't know you. Goodbye. Ah, for Christ's sake! God damn it! Christmas! It was me that took him up there. It was me asked him to go up there. It was Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, for God's sakes. All these young guys, they're all supposed to be helping their wives out. And, you know, getting the trees in and putting them up in the house, all the usual Christmas crap. And I promised them a good time. Let's go grab ourselves a couple of cases of beer. Let's get the machines and let's head up there to the valley. The new snow. It was beautiful, so fine, it was like pearl dust. And they all came along. They all came along because I asked them to. Well, we was having a really good time. It was good. I gotta tell you, we was drinking and laughing and joking one minute and then the next. Jack. White. It was like a tidal wave. I was so lucky. There was a tree right there. I grabbed it and I managed to just like stay above the snow away. And then by the time it started cleared, I looked back, and all them guys was gone. 
You're just gone. And then I heard it, there was a sly coming. I, I was terrified. You know what I did? I ran. I just run for my life. What else could you do? No, 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 no. You know what that feels like? All these young guys, they had their whole lives laid out in front of them. Everything to live for. And they're all gone. They're just completely disappeared. And the only one left alive at the end of the day is me, the old man. I'm alive. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm dead too. Yeah, that's I am. I'm dead. I wish I was. Well, might as well be. The way you've cut yourself off here. I didn't cut myself off. They all left me. My wife left me. My daughter doesn't know to talk to me no more. And she won't even let me see my own grandson. God sake. That is BS. You couldn't get past your own guilt to be there for her. Look, Will, I'm going to say this and you can throw me out again. You have to take the first step to make this right. <laughs> Too late in the game. Too late, Jack. You take it from me. It's never too late. Merry Christmas, Will. Excuse me. Can I have everybody's attention just for one second up here? I'm the one responsible for these horses here. And I just wanted to thank you for helping them. It's a wonderful thing you've done here. That's about it. Thank you. All of you. Well, then pick up a damn shovel, old man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm on it. My turn to get you coffee.
Hey, Jack. Just want to thank you, all of you, for what you did out there, especially for sticking to it the way you did. Thank you. Young lady, I promise I will look out for those horses from here on. Give the horses back to the guy who abandoned them in the first place. Great idea. He'll look after them this time. He needs them. Joe? Can I talk to you? To both of you? I got something I want to say. things get this way. Been, uh, just been an old fool. I don't want to fix it. Is there any way that you'd be willing to give me a, give me a chance to do so? What you Sam? Is it all right with you? <laughs> so I managed to book a flight out first thing in the morning. Are you guys sure you're okay with this? Absolutely. Totally. I had kind of hoped that Grandpa and the rest of them would make it home by now, but it's not. Christmas is officially canceled. I guess it is. My parents just phoned and they can't get out. Oh, Mallory, I'm so sorry. So since Christmas is canceled, I'll be in my room. Early flight. Well? My Christmas isn't canceled. Is yours? Not at all. I know we said we wouldn't get each other anything, but... Uh, Look, I found a way to get you something I know that you'll love. Okay, I actually did the same thing. Really? You're kidding me. No, not at all. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks, babe. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, Ash, this is amazing. It's it's just that But I sold my bracelet to buy you that belt. <laughs> I sold my all-around cowboy buckle to buy you that star. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is an O. Henry moment. Oh who? He wrote a story called The Gift of the Magi, and it's basically about this woman who sells her hair to buy her Come husband. Here. Power's out everywhere. It's pitch black out there. Hey, did we turn the water off in the trailer? <clears throat> no, I thought the heater guy would get it. What if he didn't? The pipes might burst. We gotta go. 
No, you guys promised you'd stay and watch Mallory. We'll be back in the morning before you leave. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, all right? Oh, bye. Well, I think there's some candle holders in the china cabinet. Any particular style or color? Don't push it. Mallory, look. I'm sorry I was so... Christmas spirit challenged. I didn't mean to be. I just... I really wanted this Christmas to be perfect. Like it used to be. We have to admit, this Christmas kind of sucks. Yeah. Kind of does. Well, at least you get to see Peter tomorrow. No, I... I'm not going to Estevan tomorrow. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I want to spend Christmas with you. Peter will understand. Well, you must be happy about one thing. Oh, really? What's that? You can't see the horrible deed I did to your tree. <laughs> it actually does kind of look better in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I miss Peter. So you have to go? See you later. Yeah, yeah, I want to make it home for Christmas. Thanks. You know, for everything. I'm really psyched about that fall. Yeah. Current is my Christmas present. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll come back and visit. If you ever get sick of him, there's always me. See ya. Yeah, literally. Drive on the right side of the road from now on, you crazy old fool. That's right. Thanks. Hey, uh, take care of your family. I will. Thanks. Let's get this show on the road. Where's Tim? your coffee. I gotta come back. <laughs> well, you would be more than welcome. Really? You mean that? Yes. Good. Yeah. Me and my parents never really got around to making the actual gingerbread house, so we mm -hmm. made it family tradition that every Christmas morning we would make our gingerbread house sandwiches. Good idea. Merry 
Hey, yes, we got hope. You're back, <laughs> finally. <laughs> guys, you're back. Hey. Lou, what are you wearing? How are you guys doing? It's a Wells family tradition. Oh. They're awesome. Ah, mm. Looks great. <laughs> did you guys get the horses out okay? We did, and one of them fold. <laughs> We're home. Merry Christmas. Hey. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Dad. Hi. Hi. This place is freezing. Yeah, it's chilly. And where are the lights? Well, the power went off, and... <laughs> Never mind. What happened to your tree? It's a Mallory tree. It was perfect. Do the honors, Grandpa? Yes, I would love to. <laughs> Look at this. Turkey! Hey. Peter! <laughs> what? what are you doing here? I can't believe this. What about your dad? How is he? And he's okay. He's getting better. My brother showed up to take over, so. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> I couldn't miss our first Christmas together. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Look who I found at the airport. Oh, this Mallory. Is good. Oh my god, you're here! <laughs> oh, finally, you have no idea. Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Oh, hello, folks. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Let's get some more chairs. Charlie, Hi, Jack. Good hello. to see you. Welcome, folks. Come on in. Best Pull it apart. Hey, everyone. You know what? Here's to the horses of Claw Valley. Huh? Well, here's to Amy and Ty and their crazy dedication in rescuing them. Here, here. Here's to friends and family. And here's to all of us being together. Now, let's eat. Mm-hmm. Carlos, that turkey, Grandpa. You first. <laughs> I'm so full. You didn't, did you? I didn't what? Get me a Christmas present. Actually, no. You know me, I left it to the last second, and I was gonna go into town, but then we got the call, and I'm really sorry, Amy. Don't be. I feel bad. I mean, you probably got me something, and I don't... Ty, you... I didn't. I, I know. I, I meant to, but I didn't get into town either. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we got eight gifts, right? And a full. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Besides.